So Larry had to leave the group because he had to, not because he wanted to. So his career, he did not know what he was going to do. So while he was with Sly and the Family Stone, he was producing a group for me that he put together called Hot Chocolate. And um, we were gigging around the Bay Area. So when Larry left Sly and the Family Stone, he joined my group, Hot Chocolate, and it became Grand Central Station. As far as Larry be, being forced out of the group, he was not, like, physically forced, told that, you know, you have to leave the group, you better get out the group. It was just that he felt and he had heard that um, his life was in danger. So he felt that he had he was more or less escaping is what he was doing, as opposed to being forced out. He was escaping. You actually appeared on... A seminal Sly and the Family Stone album, There's a Riot Going On. Talk about that experience. While Larry was singing with Sly, and I was uh, actually traveling on the road with Larry, a couple of times Rose didn't show up for whatever reason. And I was hoping that this would be my time to get in there and form with Sly and the Family Stone, but that didn't happen because he had another younger sister named Bette who came and actually took Rose's place during those times, but Sly had a studio in his home in Bel Air, and so it was common for the members of the group to come when Sly was recording and um, stay there in the home and uh, record. So this particular time, when I finally got a chance to participate on a Sly and the Family Stone record, um, nobody was left there waiting to record except for Larry and myself. And so Sly came, like, at 4 o'clock in the morning. We were asleep and uh, knocked on the door, woke us up. He was ready to go in the studio. So uh, Larry and I went in the studio with him and ended up singing the background vocals to a song called Love and Hate.